welcome back to another episode of Grey Matter, the series of science shorts that talks all things brain and cracks all things cranium. For someone without the condition, body dysmorphia can seem a little bizarre. Why would someone who is muscular and strong think that they're weak and puny, or someone who's incredibly skinny think they're fat? But this is all to do with what's going on inside their brains and how their brain is perceiving their body. Body dysmorphia is a mental health condition where someone has a misconstrued idea of what their body looks like and it causes them a great amount of stress and anxiety. They often become particularly obsessed about a particular part of their body, which others may not notice, and they compare their bodies to other people and may obsessively look in a mirror or avoid mirrors altogether. The condition is related to something called our somato representation. This is our internal cognitive processes related to our knowledge and attitudes towards our body. We see that people with body dysmorphia have altered brain activity in the areas of the brain related to comprehending our own body image. A part of the brain called the parietal lobe generates our body image, and dysfunction of this part of the brain is linked to conditions like anorexia and body dysmorphia because the brain can't calculate an accurate representation of our body. Dysfunction of the posterior parts of the parietal areas is linked to altered perception of our body, whereas dysfunction of another part of the brain, called the insula, is linked to our negative attitudes towards our bodies. As well as those areas in the brain, in body dysmorphia we also see altered function in areas like the frontal striatal, limbic systems and visual systems. Muscle dysmorphia is a related condition that we often see in the weight room. This is where someone has a misconstrued idea of of their body, but this time they're big and muscly and they perceive themselves to be weak and small. But instead of what we see in body dysmorphia, where someone's preoccupied with diet in terms of starvation, in muscle dysmorphia we can see preoccupation in diet in getting in lots of protein and trying to get lots of workouts in, and even abuse of anabolic steroids. So for people with muscle dysmorphia and body dysmorphia, it's really hard for them to see what you see because their brain is calculating a completely different image. So that's it for this episode of Grey Matter. Stay tuned for next time.